everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. Hope everybody's having a good start to the week. All things considered, hopefully you are adjusting to uh, the new normal while we deal with this uh, quote unquote pandemic or outbreak of COVID-19. Uh, I've talked about it briefly. I'm going to be uh, revealing the findings of the research that I'm currently doing on the uh, virus itself, its origins, uh, its geopolitical impact, uh, and a number of other things, the global financial impact. I'm going to talk about all of that uh, over the course of the week, obviously, because I'm still recovering from my recent uh, multiple heart attacks. And I gotta kind of take it slow. Just left the doctor's office, that's why I'm kind of excited. Uh, I'm still, you know, in a recovery process, nowhere close to being 100%. Uh, but I can return to light duty, uh, and I'll have to determine what that is by what I'm able to do comfortably without straining. Uh, and my body will tell me when I'm overdoing it. It, it, it lets me know, and it's clear. And I've, I've paid attention, and I listen. Uh, so it's going to take some time to get all this to you because I'm going to have to spread it out. Uh, but I just wanted to stop in and say thank you once again for the love you've shown uh, in so many different ways. The people who have reached out on the post, few posts that I was able to put out there, uh, those who have reached out to me looking for me uh, in a number of different ways, that obviously shoot, uh, revealed that you put in effort because it wasn't readily available and you found me. And I wanna say thank you for the care and the concern. Uh, yes, I am definitely 100% committed to loving on my people and fighting for my people, but I'm definitely gonna have to make my health a priority. And that's still, I'm still trying to figure out how that looks moving forward. You know, what will I be able to do? What will I have to uh, put in the hands of other people what things will I have to put down completely uh, at least for the time being uh, and so I'm looking at those things and I'm evaluating them and I'm uh, learning what it looks like for me as I each day I get up and I, uh, I'm able to look at some things and make some assessments what it's going to look like look like for me moving forward and ultimately it's going to be a more productive life because I'm going to have to have more uh, team involvement more people who will participate in what I'm doing, and I'm okay with that. So, uh, I am excited about what's coming. I'm going to consistently challenge all of you guys uh, to rise up and meet the challenge of being better, not just in the sake of what we're talking about on a grand scale with the black community. That's obviously important if you truly love our people the way I do. But also on a personal level, there you, you have a unique and a special design. And in that, there's this gifting. Maybe you're aware of it, maybe you're not. Maybe you just simply haven't activated it or used it at its full potential. But there's greatness inside of you no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, no matter what you've been through, no matter how many mistakes you've made, you don't disqualify yourself from your gifting. You just simply have to invest yourself in being the best version of you that you can possibly be. And so I'm challenging you, rise up and do that. Rise up and be the best version of you. That's always been my goal. And sometimes I get a little too weighted on one side and I, I neglect another side and that's showing up right now in my health. But I have committed to uh, balancing this thing out. Uh, those who have joined uh, the 30-day challenge, I'm also now doing a 90-day challenge, which is focused solely on my health, and that's mentally, emotionally, psychologically, and physically. And so, uh, and so, I'm, I'm, I'm really, truly looking forward to it. I'm inviting people to join in, uh, pay attention to what I'll be posting and sharing uh, in the coming days, weeks, and months. Uh, we've got work to do and we need to be at the height of our capacity in order to fulfill this demand 
on ourselves, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, and physically. And so we've got to be right. And so that's my thing, man. I'm, 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 I'm striving for that. And I'm excited about it. Um, you know, the fact that I'm still standing, the fact that I'm still breathing, the fact that I'm actually able to drive myself to the doctor. Trust me, Marion wasn't feeling it, but Marion had something she had to do, and I had the appointment. So I got to drive, and I'm okay, and the doctor says it's okay. Uh, you know, as long as I don't stress myself or strain myself, you know, um, uh, the major blockage was removed, so there's not a main threat right now. We just got to let the heart get stronger because it's been through a lot, uh, recover. Um, and so that's just going to be a time process. Nothing I can do to make it go any faster, uh, but I can make sure I'm not overtaxing it, and I'm, I'm not going to do that. But again, there's so much work to do in the community. There's so much work to do for our families on an individual level men we have so much work to do there's so much that we need to be doing in the areas of mentoring young men protecting young ladies and protecting our women uh creating an environment that says not on my watch i talk about that all the time uh we've got to establish an environment that it's understood that our women will not be harmed or violated on our watch and and, 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 and it's got to uh, be established by the understanding of clear uh, and precise and unwavering consequences for those types of actions. And we need to actually, as men, come together and determine. I mean, this goes for black and non-blacks alike. You are not allowed to harm our women. And if you do, you will fill us. It has to be that. It can be nothing else than that. And we will never truly holistically gain the trust of our women if we cannot provide them a safe space where they know when we're around, they're okay. We can't be the source of their pain. And we have to talk about intimate partner, homicide, intimate partner, violence. We've got to talk about incest, adverse childhood experiences, and so many other things that I speak about on a regular basis so with that being said i'm not gonna stay on too long i'm almost uh well not quite but i'm almost home uh what i want to do is really just challenge everybody it's time to stand up and make moves it's time to get behind something you believe in and ride it and push it and go uh, i would love to have you guys behind me supporting the work i'm doing the research uh watch the previous video uh, that talks more about the research we're doing on a regular basis, epigenetics and uh, a number of other different things and how that impacts our behavior and our performance and so much more, our health. And um, the work I'm doing with uh, African-American adolescent, adolescent and young adult male violence uh, and how that's playing into the development and expansion of Black Men Lead. Uh, the restoring of ghettos forgotten daughters dealing with the healing of our black sisters uh, It's so much and I would really love to have your support uh, As always the way that you can support is revealed in the description box in the first paragraph With that being said look I'm gonna check out of here uh, Prepare for the remainder of my day, which is going to be slow boogie but boogie And on that note, I'm out. Peace